Hey everybody, I'm here today to show you and tell you specifically how to use a Blue Yeti microphone. This will be a video for beginners and this will be an easy tutorial so let's get right into this instructional video tutorial. Once again, this will be an easy tutorial for beginners showing you and telling you specifically how to use a Blue Yeti microphone just like the one that you see right over here. Now I'm going to try and keep this short and sweet and really, really, really easy, okay? So I'm really just going to try and keep it like as simple as possible. So let's get into this. Basically, this is the microphone, okay? First and foremost, you can adjust the angle of the microphone just by moving it like this. You can swivel it like this. And on both sides over here, okay, these can be tightened or loosened, which will basically allow it to, to, to move more easily or stay in place. So if you loosen them a lot, it's just going to sort of flip flop around. Whereas if you tighten them up, it's going to do a much better job at staying in the right position that you want it to be in. So, you know, if you're adjusting it, loosen these up, adjust the angle. And when you get it where you want it to be, then tighten them up and it should stay in place for the most part. Okay. The next thing that I want to show you with regards to using it is connecting it. So as you can see over here, here on the underside there is actually a USB port over here and this cord came with the microphone and essentially to connect it you just plug one end into the actual microphone itself and the other end is just sort of like a standard USB uh, port standard USB jack whatever you want to call it you got to plug that into the USB port on your computer and what's gonna happen is your computer is gonna get the driver it should get the driver for the microphone and you should be able to use the microphone uh, really really quickly after that for the most part so that's how to connect it to the computer okay <clears throat> the next thing that I want to talk to you about is choosing the setting so turn it around and you can see on the back here it says pattern that's like the pattern of the audio pickup basically that's how the microphone will will pick up the audio around it um, and in front of it so you want to choose the one that works best for whatever you're recording you can always I my, my saying is if you're ever in doubt choose the cardioid setting it's the best setting just as a general general rule um, but you can do your own research and choose the one that works best for your specific uh, needs as to as to with regards to where you're speaking into the the microphone and so forth and how many people are talking and so forth and speaking of speaking into the microphone you want to also speak into the microphone at the correct angle um, the microphone is basically designed that you should speak into it from the front not from the top but from the front so don't speak into it from the top speak into it directly from the front that's like you know like if you speak into it from the top it's still gonna pick up your sound but for the best sound quality just talk directly into the front of the microphone okay I'm gonna turn it around again there's also a gain knob back here and this basically is gonna uh, control how loud the microphone will pick up your voice and the audio. So if your gain is turned down, then it's going to produce a low volume sound when you're speaking into it. Okay. If your gain knob is turned up, then when you're speaking into it, it's going to produce a high volume sound whenever that sound transmits to your computer or whatever you're, you know, you're recording on. Okay. I'm going to turn it around one more time. <clears throat> so over here, you can see there's a mute button. It's very simple. You can mute yourself. Very, very easy to do. Straightforward. Obviously when it's plugged in, you're going to get an illumination and and there's a volume button over here and that volume button a lot of people think this is the gain knob but this is the volume button okay the volume controls the headphone volume okay so this will control the volume of the headphone of the sound that's coming out of the headphones and on the bottom here just speaking of headphones you can plug in your headphones to that headphone jack over there and that's basically it that's how to use it honestly I mean I tried to just kind of go over this the basics of, of connecting it plugging it in using it you know um, yeah that's it and obviously when you plug it in and you want to record your sound or your voice or whatever you're recording you want to make sure that you're using obviously an audio recording program on your computer so make sure you have a good audio recording program as well um, lots of free ones lots of paid ones it's kind of up to you do your own research but that's basically it with regards to how to use a Blue Yeti microphone a video for beginners and an easy tutorial hopefully you enjoyed the video I tried to keep it short and sweet if you like this video tutorial please be sure to give it a thumbs up let me know what you think down below in the comments and of course be sure to subscribe for more great videos just like this one and that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.